Hello in this video we will discuss about the mechanism of muscle atrophy and hypertrophy. Atrophy means the loose of the muscle and hypertrophy means the development of the muscle and growth of the muscle. So in this video we will discuss about the insulin interaction, insulin like growth factor and AKT and mTOR molecular pathway. So first of all we should need to understand about the introduction. So the skeletal muscle is the protein reservoir of our body. It means the storage of the protein and an important regulator of glucose because the glycogen are present which that is in the form of glucose converted into the glycogen for the less consumption of the water so that is why the glucose convert into the glycogen and on the basis of the requirement the glucose will be convert into the uh, glycogen convert into the glucose is known as glycogenolysis so it is the 40 to 50 percent tissue in healthy body is the muscle and used for breathing eating energy expenditure glucose amino acid and lipids homeostasis for high quality of life. So anyhow, in this video we will discuss first of all we should need to understand about the anatomical aspect of the muscle, the skeletal muscle. Skeletal muscle means the bones uh, attached with the muscle for movement. So that is why the it is our voluntary control that is known as the skeletal muscle. Here is the bone which that attached the tendon. Tendon is attached with a deep fascia and deep fascia or fascia which that is connected with the uh, which that is made up of epimysium containing a, a muscle. This is a muscle and this epimysium within the epimysium is the perimysium. This perimysium contain a, a fascicle. This fascicle is basically is contain endomysium. Endomysium is due to the muscle fiber muscle fiber is surrounded by endomysium so inside the muscle fiber as a cell so that is known as a cell of the skeletal muscle so it is also known as the myocyte but it is the myocyte is the precursor of the muscle fiber that is the mature form of the muscle cell is known as the muscle fiber so this is i am drawing the muscle fiber this is the perimysium fascicle and this fascicle contain endomysium inside it contain a endomysium contain a, a muscle fibers so the cell and blood capillaries are present and nervous system which that is a neuron so motor neuron is very important for the neuromuscular junction for muscle contraction so this is the sarcolemma Sarcolemma means the cell which that is cytoplasm like structure and contain nucleus. So the myofibril is contain many myofibrils in are present within the sarcolemma within the uh, muscle fiber. So this is the sarco uh, so myofibril contain many many sarcomere. So actin and myosin containing actin thin and myosin thick filament which that is thin actin filament and thick myosin filament. And here is the Z line, Z to Z line within the Z line, H zone. And H zone is a basically contained here is the, uh, basically in the middle is the H zone, which that is the central point, point where the muscle will move, uh, contract. So here is the M line and this is the I band, isotropic and an isotropic band, A band. And titan will attach with the myosin and this is the myosin filament. And in this way, this is the myofilaments contain many sarcomere. For example, let's begin to understand one sarcomere. So in this way, I band, isotropic band, and A band, what that means? That means the isotropic band means light can pass, while the anisotropic means the light cannot be polarized. So here is the titan will attach with the myosin fiber. And here is the Z to Z line. It contains sarcomere and M line. M line is the middle line which that is the central line for the contraction region and this is totally is known as my sarcomere and this titan is elastic filament and here the myosin is the thick filament contain myosin heads pair form which that is bind to contract and after contraction the complete the relaxation is required energy for hydrolyzation of myosin actin bridge. So during the rigor mortis uh, will be occur due to the death of the person will lead to decrease the ATP will lead to uh, 
and not movement of muscle so here is the satellite cell this satellite cell is the stem cell of the muscle which that is the precursor of myofiber cell so insulin or insulin like growth factor 1 will bind with the satellite if the damage the tissue the damage of the muscle so the muscle fiber will be damaged so insulin like growth factor will bind with the insulin like insulin like growth factor 1 with the satellite cell also and also it will repair the uh, it will repair after the binding with the muscle fiber which that is the Uh, predominant muscle fiber which that bind the insulin receptor ins insulin like growth factor binding to mature and growth more and thickness to increase the myco myofilament so it is the growth hormone which that trigger the insulin like growth factor in the liver as a autocrine also the paracrine paracrine mean it will target to the another tissue while the autocrine mean it uh target to inside and to lead to anabolism insulin from beta cell of the pancreas and used for the growth and regeneration so anyhow let's begin to understand the uh molecular pathway here is a cell bigger picture of the cell contains plasma membrane plasma membrane contain bilayer of phospholipid and here is also bilayer of phospholipid of the nucleus contain nuclear membrane so inside the nucleus is the dna in the form of chromosome so there are a lot of genes which that is need to activate through a uh, transcription of factor so here is the different two type of tyrosine kinase kinase receptor which that is bound with the insulin so it's insulin receptor and while insulin like growth factor 1 which that's also insulin like growth factor 1 and interleukin a which that is used for it and insulin receptor that activate a cascade of phosphorylation event that a uh, positively uh, modulate and proteins enzyme or transcription factor this uh, pathway regulates the protein synthesis or uh, degradation or cell proliferate so here is the insulin receptor substrate insulin binding receptor substrate insulin substrate receptor binding protein one which that bind to recruit the shc protein activation to activate the ras protein ras protein is the anabolic protein used for the cell growth and divide and the raf activate the raf and after the activation of the raf will activate the mac and mitogen activated protein kinase to activate mf kinase protein activation on the other hand important thing is that the arc is also trigger this all thing is the anabolic and here is the pip3 phosphoinositol um, triphosphate 3 4 and 5 phosphate tetraphosphate pentaphosphate which that trigger the pip pi3k phosphoinositol 3 kinase recruitment and this recru recruitment further to activate the pdk1 this pdk1 will recruit the akt and also the lipid signal is also trigger the akt and this akt is very important what is the function of that that trigger the mtor pathway so what is the meaning of mtor pathway we will discuss also here is the inhibition of the tsc12 which that will be inhibit the rhib but in this way the inhibition of the ts1 uh, tsc1 and 2 will trigger the mtor complex and this mtor is the anabolic part pathway and here is the acl which that is used for the for atp production from the mitochondria so increase efficiency of the atp will be will lead to uh, authentic um, uh, discovery for that the protein synthesis through atp increasing so the atp is used for the protein synthesis while in the case of if the cell will be damaged at the starvation period so the apoptosis can be occur due to the foxo134 gene activation so in this way the foxo134 transcription factor which that is autophagic gene activation and this autophagic gene can be a autophagy lysosome formation 
and on the other hand the lc3 and there are a lot of genes activation which that produce different cathepsin and pink and ulk1 and the, here is a proteasome uh, gene activation which that produce the smart fbxo3 ubiquitin and usp1 this and ubiquitination is also occur in this way autogene 1 morph and ms uh, a1 smart and there are ubiquitin and usp1 and ube4 binding protein which that is lead to apoptosis but in this case here is the ampk ampk pathway which that trigger the focus of 134 but it's also the autophagy lysosome triggering but also it is the autophagy and apoptosis will be occur but here is the atp will convert into the amp this amp will trigger the ampk but all these things will be inhibited by the focus so of 134 by the akt akt protein will inhibit the focus so after the focus inhibition mean the inhibition of the apoptosis and that why ampk will be also inhibit due to the amp inhibition so if the mitochondria damage reactive oxygen species will produce to hydrogen peroxidase hydrogen peroxidation formation by the peroxisome to inhibit the mtor pathway and inhibit the protein synthesis and on the other hand uh, inhibit the mtor pathway will lead to autophagy and the cell will be die due to the apoptosis but in the case of the inhibition uh, stimulation of the mTOR pathway, which that will be trigger the two type of mTOR pathway, the mammalian target of rapamycin. It can be inhibited by the rapamycin during the cancer time. So the Richter and Raptor contain differently complex with the GBL, G beta L, uh, to produce the. 4E binding protein 1 and S6 kinase 1. This will lead to protein synthesis while the 4E B1 P1 will inhibit by the mTOR pathway will lead to promote the for protein synthesis. So in this way all things will lead to uh, protein synthesis if the cell will be correct. While here is the myosatellite cell which that is also play important role for the this is the stem cell of muscle during the damage myofiber and derived factors the amd amd uh, sorry dmdf and enzyme which that will activation to lead g1 phase growth one phase of the cycle cell to lead to g1 and synthesis phase and proliferation lead to stimulate lead to stimulate and uh, lead to stimulate the muscle fiber as well as the muscle growth due to the addition of the uh, myofiber due to the uh, biosatellite cell conversion in the uh, myos, myofiber so all these things about the mechanism of muscle atrophy and hypertrophy so hypertrophy means the muscle development while the atrophy atrophy mean the apoptosis so i hope you make sense about the whole concept about this video thanks for watching please make sure to subscribe like and share bye